plays like this for St. Cloud State football seem well in the rearview mirror. But plays like this aren't too bad either. Current SESU signal caller Nate Meyer is a former Rakori star. But after a short stint at South Dakota State, it appears St. Cloud has treated him pretty well. We, we feel like, you know, he's feeling a little bit more comfortable with our offense, the things that we're doing, taking command of it, um, you know, having confidence back in his skill set and, and certainly his receivers. So, you know, each step he's got a little bit better, but we still got a ways to go. Although Nate appears to be coming into his own, the team is still very young after all the senior turnover from last year. But there's one unit that still needs some work. We didn't tackle very well in the Duluth game. You know, some of that probably was due to them and the things that they do. The other part was due to us. So we got to work on a little bit of tackling. And then obviously the turnovers in the game killed us. And it just magnified the fact that if you have those turn, you know, the three turnovers, uh, provided them scoring opportunities. So we got to take care of the football. Although there may be some bumps in the road, this young Husky football team is coming together and getting better, which is a good sign for future Husky teams on the gridiron. They're gaining that experience, you know, and we're hopeful that will only make us a better team in the future. Unfortunately, you're taking some lumps during this time as they get game time experience. And, you know, I think we have six freshmen playing for, uh, playing for us in some capacity right now, probably four on defense extensively. So we really, you know, just got to keep working with our, our guys to, to get them better each week. For UTVS Sports, I'm Ted LaRue.